All right, YouTubes. Well, I actually have a project I got to use the mill for here real quick. Uh, I got to do some more pipe work, and I bought this pipe stand. Get rid of my air hose. I bought this pipe stand a long time ago. I got it at Industrial Surplus Place. I only paid like 15 bucks for it, uh, but it only came with one roller. <laughs> So I got to make two rollers here. So I got my turntable. I know this is overkill. Uh, I got my turntable here on top of my mill. Uh, basically, I just put a piece of little of quarter inch aluminum up here. Uh, centered my piece here on the chuck. Drilled a hole, cranked it over to the described line here, which is just the outside edge of that. Uh, just the outside edge of this guy. And now we're gonna go ahead and use the mill to just cut this guy out and I thought I would show you how this works. So we got it cranked up there. We're gonna turn on the air. This gives me a little bit of mist of coolant and air and then check that out. We are just making a circle here. I'm just turning the hand wheel down here. And right there, I need a little bit more coolant. There we go, too much. There we go. So here's the thing about doing this on a manual mill. It takes forever. But you can do stuff like this. I now have a nice, perfectly round roller. As I went around, I left, uh, I forget, I think these are called like footprints or something like that. I should just be able to pop it right out of there. Now I can just clean this guy up and I have, I know it's an aluminum version, but I have an analog to that guy to use in that stand. All right, I now have a fully functional rolling pipe stand, yay. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm, hope you enjoyed. Uh, please check back to the channel for some more Welding, machining, and soon to be a crap load of air arcing on this foot here. Content. Thank you for watching.